First, we formulated and implemented macro policies to meet the urgent needs of market entities and kept the fundamentals of the economic development facing uh, shocks of uh, severity rarely seen before. And based on what we have done to ensure stability on six key fronts, we carried out the tasks of maintaining security in six key areas, particularly job security, basic living standards, and the operational market entities. By maintaining security, we were able to deliver stability while also pursuing progress. Based on China's realities, we refrained from pumping uh, money onto the market. We took decisive measures to strike balance between various macro policies. Using approaches of reforms and innovation, we helped macro, small, and medium enterprises and self-employed individuals, which are large in number, extensive in scope, and took the most uh, direct hit from COVID-19. By making both time-limited uh, large-scale tax and uh, fee cuts and institutional arrangements, we reduced the tax for more than 2.6 trillion yuan this year, including 1.7 trillion yuan in social insurance premium cuts and examples, exemptions. We adopted new approaches in implementing macro policies. The central government established a mechanism to directly allocate 2 trillion yuan to prefecture and uh, county level governments, while provincial level governments also increased their funding allocations to governments at these levels. And banks were given support, support to increase loans to businesses. And throughout the year, our GDP grew by 2.3 percent. And we have accumulated new experience of economic development. Second, we give top priority to stabilizing employment and ensuring living standards and effectively safeguarded people's well-being. Employment is pivotal to people's well-being. Our efforts to keep market entities uh, amid at maintaining stable employment and meeting basic living standards. We are working with multiple uh, dimensions and channels to support mass entrepreneurship and innovation by all. Uh, multiple channels were tapped to support rapid growth. A total of 11.86 million urban jobs were added. China, as the largest developing country in the world, has kept overall employment stable in the face of such enormous shock. The supply and price stability of daily necessities was ensured. And we also fought a unprecedented flood. With all these measures, we have protected the safety and security of people's properties. Third, we made decisive progress in the three critical battles and achieving major targets and tasks as planned. We increased funding for poverty alleviation by a considerable sum. And counties and villages facing difficulties were placed under special supervision to see that they fully implement our assistance and support policies. We worked hard to reduce poverty through the development of local industries and to promote consumer spending. A total of 5.51 million people were lifted out of poverty in 2020. And, uh, all the 52 poor counties were lifted of uh, poverty. We also scored important results in environmental protection and in ensuring blue sky. We also ruled out some major risks for financial uh, instabilities. First, we continued to advance reform and opening up. We improved the system and the mechanisms for the market allocation of production factors. We supported the SOE reform and also the development of uh, private enterprises. Steady progress is made under the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, fifth, we vigorously supported technological transformation and uh, innovation. We developed China's International Centers for Science and Technology Innovation, 
and uh, Tianwen-1 Mars mission was successfully launched and Chang'e 5 lunar mission and uh, the Fenduzhe deeper sea and deep sea manned submersible were all successful. Six, we advanced the new urbanization and the rural revitalization and improved the layouts of urban rural development and development among regions. Efforts were made to improve the layouts of urban and uh, rural development. Green output continued to increase and rural revitalization is well underway. We have come up with a number of new policies in revitalizing some of the poor regions in the country. Seven, we stepped up law-based administration and promoted social advancement. We submitted nine legislative uh, proposals to the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, and we also revised 37 sets of administrative regulations. Uh, schools were reopened in autumn successfully, and uh, all the confirmed cases of COVID were treated using national budget. We also improved the efforts of cultural development. Better public cultural services were provided. Primary level governance in urban and rural areas was enhanced. Solid steps were taken to address public complaints and audit-based oversight was vigorously conducted and state council accountability inspections were carried out. We were successful in pursuing China's major country diplomacy. President Xi Jinping and other party and state leaders hosted or attended via video link major diplomatic events, including the extraordinary China-Africa Summit on Solidarity Against COVID-19, high-level meetings commemorating the 75th anniversary of the United Nations, the 73rd World Health Assembly, the G20 Leaders Summit in Riyadh, and the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting, the 22nd China EU Leaders Meeting, and East Asia Leaders Meeting. On cooperation. We upheld multilateralism and endeavored to build a human community with a shared future. We supported global cooperation on combating COVID-19 and called for building a global health committee. China thus made important contributions to advancing global peace and development. Our work last year was truly challenging, yet local authorities and government departments across the country kept in mind the big picture and shouldered responsibilities. Market entities over 100 million in number responded to shocks with fortitude and resilience. People worked hard and fought adversity in close solidarity and with the unyielding spirit of the Chinese nation, thus proving themselves true heroes. This is the well of strength that enables us to rise to every challenge and overcome every difficulty.